Far beneath the serene blue expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, something extraordinary and terrifying is beginning to unfold. In a place long thought to be geologically calm, scientists have discovered a massive crack silently ripping its way through the oceanic crust. This is not just a minor fracture or a passing tremor. It is the early stage of a tectonic upheaval, a wound in the Earth's skin that could one day unleash earthquakes as powerful as the catastrophic Lisbon quake of 1755, which toppled a city, killed tens of thousands, and sent tsunamis racing across oceans. But how can such a cataclysm threaten an area far from the well-known ring of fire that girdles the Pacific? The answer lies deep below the seafloor, where the lower layers of Earth's lithosphere are peeling away and sinking into the mantle, a rare and ominous process. This hidden rupture is steadily growing, warping the crust above and building strain like a colossal loaded spring. Could this be the birth of a new plate boundary? And is it the prelude to the world's deadliest earthquake? Scientists warn that the Atlantic may be preparing for a violent awakening, and humanity may be running out of time to prepare. Before we dive in further, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. In the eastern Atlantic Ocean, scientists have uncovered something unsettling, a deepening crack tearing through the oceanic lithosphere, hidden under the horseshoe abyssal plain just southwest of Portugal. This area was long considered tectonically quiet, yet ocean-bottom seismometers deployed for months have recorded clusters of small but deep quakes several kilometers below the surface here. Following this, new seismic studies revealed that a massive slab of oceanic crust is peeling away from the upper plate and sinking into the mantle below. The process, known as lithospheric delamination, is incredibly rare in oceanic settings and may mark the birth of an entirely new tectonic plate boundary. The Earth's outer shell, the lithosphere, is divided into tectonic plates that slowly drift atop the softer, ductile asthenosphere. Usually, old oceanic plates only sink back into the mantle at subduction zones, where they dive beneath other plates in deep ocean trenches. But the horseshoe abyssal plain is hundreds of kilometers away from any known subduction zone, this made the discovery of delamination here especially surprising. What's alarming is that this delamination is actively progressing. In effect, the region may be transitioning from a passive continental margin to an active plate boundary. Over millions of years, it could grow into a full subduction zone, like those that generate the planet's largest earthquakes. But even before that happens, the fracturing and faulting it creates can produce powerful earthquakes, just as past quakes have erupted here without obvious plate boundaries to explain them. To grasp why this new crack has alarmed scientists, one only needs to recall what happened on the morning of November 1st, 1755. Without warning, a colossal earthquake, estimated at magnitude 8.5 to 9.0, struck just offshore from Lisbon. In a matter of minutes, the vibrant Portuguese capital was reduced to rubble. Fires swept through the ruins as terrified survivors fled toward the waterfront, only to be engulfed by a monstrous tsunami that surged up the Tagus River and slammed into the coastlines of Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. Even across the Atlantic, waves were recorded in the Caribbean. The Lisbon earthquake became one of the deadliest in European history killing tens of thousands and reshaping philosophy, science, and politics across the continent. Yet for centuries, its source remained a mystery. The region lay within the broad boundary where the African plate meets the Eurasian plate, but no obvious trench or subduction zone existed to explain such a massive event. Later, in 1969, another large earthquake of magnitude 7.8 struck the same offshore region again hinting that something powerful lurks beneath the seemingly placid seafloor. Now, the discovery of a delaminating slab beneath the horseshoe abyssal plain may finally explain these anomalies. The Lisbon quake, once seen as an isolated freak disaster, could be part of a much longer tectonic awakening, the first convulsions of a new plate boundary forming deep beneath the Atlantic. Large earthquakes are driven by the sudden release of accumulated tectonic stress. 
In conventional subduction zones, stress builds as one plate grinds against another until it snaps, producing megathrust quakes. In the horseshoe region, the mechanism is more complex, but potentially just as dangerous. As the lower lithosphere peels away, the overlying plate bends downward under its own immense weight. This flexure stores elastic strain within the brittle crust. Simultaneously, new faults are forming as the crust is stretched and cracked. Water infiltration along these faults weakens them further, lowering the friction that keeps them locked. Eventually, one of these faults will rupture, releasing centuries of built-up strain in seconds. Because these faults are underwater, any sudden vertical displacement of the seafloor could push vast volumes of water upward, spawning a tsunami. There is evidence that this has already happened. Both the 1755 and 1969 quakes involve thrust faulting, which uplifts the seafloor. If the growing crack allows for even larger ruptures, future earthquakes could rival the planet's worst in both magnitude and destructiveness. Perhaps the gravest danger posed by this hidden crack is its tsunami potential. The Lisbon quakes waves reached as far as the Caribbean and the east coast of North America. Today, the risk is even greater because Europe's coasts are more densely populated and economically developed. A major rupture beneath the horseshoe abyssal plain could displace hundreds of cubic kilometers of water. Tsunami models show that waves would strike southern Portugal within 20 to 30 minutes, giving little time for warnings. Spain's Atlantic coast would also be hit, as would Morocco's northern coastline. Even distant shores across the Atlantic could see hazardous waves. Compounding the threat is the region's poorly mapped seafloor. Underwater landslides triggered by shaking could amplify tsunami heights dramatically. A quake that ruptures the growing crack could therefore unleash a complex multi-source tsunami with unpredictable impacts, an especially terrifying scenario for coastal planners. While the immediate concern is earthquakes and tsunamis, the long-term implication of this discovery is equally dramatic. This crack may be the seed of a new subduction zone. Earth's crust is recycled through subduction, but the Atlantic currently lacks major active subduction zones. For the ocean basin to eventually close, as it will in hundreds of millions of years, new subduction must start somewhere. Many geologists now suspect the Horseshoe Abyssal Plain could be one of those birthplaces. As the delaminated slab continues to sink, it may drag adjacent lithosphere down with it, creating a self-sustaining subduction system. This would gradually draw the African plate toward Europe, eventually consuming the Atlantic seafloor in between. In this view, the Atlantic may be entering the early stages of its slow death. This does not mean catastrophe is imminent. Such transformations unfold over tens of millions of years. But the early stages are violent, marked by erratic earthquakes as the lithosphere breaks apart. Humans are witnessing the opening act of this tectonic drama, and it could make the Eastern Atlantic far more dangerous in coming centuries. Because of its location underwater and far from land-based seismic networks, the Horseshoe Abyssal Plain has historically been poorly monitored. That is now changing. International teams have deployed ocean-bottom seismometers, pressure sensors, and GPS-equipped buoys to track subtle movements. Marine seismic surveys are imaging the crust in unprecedented detail, while magnetotelluric studies map fluids migrating through deep fractures. These efforts are building a real-time picture of the crack's growth. Early results already show small magnitude earthquakes clustering along its margins, suggesting active fault propagation. Over time, this monitoring could reveal whether stress is accumulating dangerously and, potentially, give advance warning of a major rupture. No one can say when the crack will next unleash a major earthquake. It could be decades or centuries. But the geologic record shows that powerful events have struck here before and likely will again. As the delamination continues, the frequency and size of earthquakes may rise. Eventually, if a subduction zone fully develops, the region could rival the Pacific's ring of fire for seismicity. In the near term, the greatest danger is another Lisbon-scale event. Modeling suggests that the accumulated strain in the crust 
could already be sufficient to produce a magnitude 8 quake. Such an event today would cause catastrophic damage across southern Europe and North Africa, and the ensuing tsunami could kill tens of thousands. The only way to mitigate this is through preparedness. Whether it takes centuries or millennia to fully awaken, the growing crack under the Atlantic will not stay silent forever. One day, it will rupture again, shaking the foundations of Portugal and sending walls of water racing across the ocean. Humanity cannot stop this process, but by understanding it, we can prepare for when the Atlantic roars once more.